Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, tuning in this afternoon is Round 17 Men's Premier League match coming at you from Darwin Football Stadium. We have the home side in Casuarina FC, and they're taking on Mindalasis Football Club. My name is George Gufezis, and I'm joined by a man who's very experienced when it comes to men's senior football since 2019. Has played nearly 50 matches across the men's Premier League and reserve grade. It's Levi Winman. Levi, how are you going? Yeah, not bad, mate. Thanks for having me. Uh, obviously, you're on here this afternoon, and it's a pleasure to join you. No, it's pleasure's all mine, Levi. And so we've got a match that really has a lot riding on it, particularly with last night's result, um, Port Darwin claiming three points against Darwin Hearts, which momentarily has put them into fourth, a position that hopefully Minda will look to uh, reach by the end of today. Yeah, it's a big big game today. Um, a must win for Mindo's point of view and for Casarina, I guess. It's just a, a test of game on how hard going into the FFA Cup for them in the future. That's exactly right. I mean, I think that that match was, I think, going to be under some current bubble at the moment with uh, the whole COVID coronavirus um, sweeping across the, the country at the moment. We're thankfully enough, lucky enough to play football this afternoon, let alone the FFA Cup tournament. But you are, I think, Casarina are going to want to build some form going into that match and, you know, Mindel with definitely a point to prove. Yeah, they're going to want to look at the technical ability and obviously just keeping the ball possession a tough side, the, this Brisbane side with mm -hmm. what I've heard of anyway. So, yep. yeah, they're going to be looking at just putting that, trying to iron out any creases this week. Mm -hmm. um, definitely against a strong Mindel side that will put them under the pump. So, for them, it um, be interesting to see and it's going to be a good game to watch, that's for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You say strong Mindel side and it looks like on the flip side, Casarina have gone into the match with a fairly unnamed starting 11 and, and 16 as you'd normally see, but there are a couple noticeable absentees from the Mindalasis side. Yeah, Prit Bruises, unfortunately, this morning pulled out with, I think, a concern of some injury, which then brings um, Neil Hayes into the side. So, call it from him, from his performances for reserves, so that's good to see. Yep. And uh, Young Eamon's been called up as well, which is also good to see from a uh, long term injury last season. Oh, it's fantastic. It's great to see him back out in the park. And so we're moments away now from this round 17 match. And it's fairly breezy afternoon. We currently have uh, top temperatures today of about 29 degrees. And it's a couple of degrees. It definitely feels a lot cooler than that at the moment, thanks to some dry season conditions sticking around. So center referee Tim Lay gets us underway. And that's McDowell on the ball. He looks for Wallace in some space, but Pereira will, De Costa Pereira will ask the question and fantastic pressure from Wallace there early on. Um, he's been a colossus in the, in the midfield this season thus far. I've pointed it out several times in my calls. He's one of my favourite um, Mindel players in just that he, 90 minutes, you never see him slacking off doesn't never turn down the pressure and if you want a big challenge or, or a crucial um, ball played he's one of the men, men to go to isn't he yeah the honey badger we call him he, <laughs> he does does his job in the middle there um, he's starting to release the ball a little bit early so when he does he can be a good uh, big threat for for us when he does that um, when he holds the ball too long that's when he finds himself in a bit of trouble but <laughs> lately he's been Releasing the ball early and some plays, like you say, has been coming off and it's been looking good. So, yep. Very nice. Just from the start, they obviously put it down that right-hand side, trying to test yeah, the, oh, the I'll young... interrupt you here. Williams has an opportunity and it looks like that'll trickle out for a goal kick on that occasion. But yeah, you, Wallace was just involved again with some interplay between Ludvigsen and Cameron as well out left. Um, he's, uh, he's a dangerous player, I've noted as well. Cameron, the leading goal scorer for, for the Aces, and he had an off off weekend uh, two weeks ago, but he'd be looking to hopefully get back on the scoreboard, wouldn't he? Yeah, James, <laughs> he's always looking to get a goal. Refers himself to the Newcastle uh, Knights or whatever mm -hmm. it is, so he yep. prefers that one, and he'd love to get a goal on the back of the net this afternoon, that's for sure. Beautiful. So some early pressure on by Mindelasis here. They've taken the assertive approach to this match and looking to set the tempo early, and it's very important against a side like Casarina that you show them that you're here to play and at the long throw goes into the box it's got Jakob trailing there Kilmartin now will go try to go back, Williams will just simply pick that up now it's McDowell who has a adventurous shot early, just making Neil accountable um, and yeah. he'll mop up that 
Yeah, he really just rubbed that off for Jeff there and just put his dominance down and thought he'd have a go there, but just a little bit too far out and didn't connect properly. So, yep. go to prayers on the on the prowl now. So. Yep, and Some. that's now McLennan who can play anywhere, this young kid. And it's Kilmartin tries to thread through a ball for... Oh, and that's cut out there by Kirby, ever so reliable. Williams, who try to go back to Kudo, does so. McDowell tries to lift forward. Williams not reading that run. And De Costa Pereira just sees that out for a Mindel throw. Williams throws it back in now very quickly to get on this McDowell. McDowell's got some time. He'll try to thread through Williams, but De Costa Pereira does clear that well. Only as far as Kudo for Mindel has time on the ball. Plays it forward to McDowell. He goes back to Trous, who puts it forward again to McDowell. Nice creative play there by Mendelasis, and a cross could come, and that'll trickle back off Trous and goal kick, but very exciting early on. Oh, so it's a good start so far, mate. Uh, nice little play there. Kane left that, um, and Trous managed to run onto it. I think that was um, his name in the back there. Aiden DeCosta. Yeah, yeah. Aiden, yeah, just getting caught on his heels a little bit, mm -hmm. and yeah, he's overrun there, but it's bounced off the Lucas and gone out for a goal kick. Very, very exciting stuff. And that's forward by Newell. Only far as the Colossus and Kirby, and that's off the head of... I think it was, that was Corey Davis, but we've got an attack out here, and a foul we brought back. Mappendia just getting a little bit too excited on, it, on his Kadrina player. Quickly taken, and it's Jakub out here. He's got time to thread through. Casemiro has a shot, and that's a comfortable save there for Chindam early. Both keepers being tested early on. Not too difficult, but just making sure that they've checked in early. Mapindia forward. Cameron gets to captain in Mifsud, who takes a touch and will look for Wallace, and he'll find him. Wallace looks to cut in and... On the run of Ludvigsen or Williams, it's ricocheted and Ludvigsen's got a run here. And oh, that's a, up there. seems to be a bit of a trip there on, on Ludvigsen. He, he was screaming in towards goal, wasn't he? Yeah, he was screaming there. He's been taken down just outside of the box. About a metre from the inside as well. So Kazri and Lucky there, they've, they settled for a, the free kick. Mm -hmm. uh, lovely little uh, pass, which just ricocheted off the defender. And once it ricochets off the defender, you can't be outside. Yeah. So uh, a couple of games I've been watching this past two weeks mm -hmm. it's happened a few times and they think that they'll be offside but they yep. can't be so yeah no i think it's happened now a couple of times on both the side of trouse and and Mifsa. it's 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 kind of alarming how quickly mindle can transition from defense to attack and if casuarina can't null that speed it's just certainly going to be attack after attack for the aces this afternoon yeah obviously you look at casuarina they've probably got one of the quickest threats there and mark <laughs> casimir up front but yep they're like I say, Tavia, once he gets going, he's got the legs and the power to, to get that speed up, and they've had to do something here to, to stop him. But um, Dillian Newell, yep. the Let's big goalkeeper, he's... Happens here. Ludvigsen strikes and oh, forces a from... fantastic save from Newell. One of those free kicks that comes across the body and through a bunch of players and often seen late, but a goalkeeper gets down to his left-hand side and forces a great stop. Yeah, I'd um, say Newell was pretty kick. good in, in goals there. It bounced just before him, and he's seen it last minute, and he's dealt with it well. So, again, they're under the pump now with a corner, so let's see how they deal with this one. It's Trous to put that in. Looks for the head of Williams. Buff Wallace, and up in the air. Wallace will win that one again as far as De Costa Piero clears for Casarina. Some respite for the defenders. Mapindia now takes a touch, going back across to his captain. Mifsud takes a touch, will... Look for possibly the run of Cameron here, or on run for Ludvigsen. It's overhit slightly on the captain, and that'll trickle through for Newell to collect. Yeah, he's overshot that one there. Matty, he would love that one back for sure. It's Newell long, long ball. forward. And yeah, needs to be effective here, and is Kudo will go out to Trous, and he'll look to take a touch and move forward as the young right back does. Overshot slightly for. Williams and DeCosta Pierre are facing a lot of attention there. Newell needs to be clever out wide. Is off pass more and seems to be a bit of pressure coming under the Rowdies and it's rattled them early. Yeah, they're, they're looking a bit unnerved there. Uh, they're dealing with it well, young Costa de, de Pereira. It's Wallace here, strong on the ball. 
Still got Lovely ample turn. time. Looks to take a ball in and slightly overshot. I'll, I'll let him off a bit of breeze on that one. Um, just seeing the ball over for a goal kick and early signs seem to definitely be with, with the Aces at the moment. They've definitely entered this match with some assertiveness and their coach and Daniel McCormick will definitely emphasise the point early that we need to pile on goals and get three points and that's what's going to send us to a finals position at least until the end of this match. Um, here we are, pass more to bring the ball back in. He'll look to go forward and that's... There's that pressure yeah, again from pressure, Wallace. Yeah. He's managed to nick the ball back there and... That's it. Touch off. It's still with Ludvigsen. He keeps a strong body against Pereira, and that's not a mean feat, but he gives the ball away. Pass more out to Kilmartin. He'll take a touch, looks inboard. Skips past. It's got Kudo here. It'll be difficult ball to control. Eventually cleared out by Tran. It's up and dear for Mindel. Looks to get forward on his left. Williams, a nice, fancy touch, and still going is the center back here. Bendia can put a ball in, does so. And that's dealt with by Casarina for the time being. Gordon Pereira, and it's cleared forward. But no far as Kirby. Jakob will try and bring that down. Can't quite do so, but the slip of Jakob's Kudo dangerous brings it with here. him. And here's it's a the pace run. for Casarina. Casemiro out wide, looks to Great get forward. Challenge. And that is a fantastic challenge. It's, goal, it's a corner, sorry, for Casarina, but that was... Needed to be perfectly timed, didn't oh, it? He's got the appreciation there from Phil, but yeah, it's a needed challenge there from Kirby, and he's done well to win all the ball there and put out for a corner. You said it earlier with, with Casemiro's speed, and you see it so often with players that have that extra burst of pace. They'll often sort of take that touch away from the defender, force the tackle, and that'll oft, often draw the, the, the penalty from, from the referee. Yeah, he, Mark Casemiro loves to draw in the players, and... Nine times out of ten, normally does and does win, win the foul, but this time he's he's not pulled it off. The young Jakob, though, that run from him just before it to yeah. get him into that position was was w really good. It's very good. He's, he, he's on the ball now. The corner looks to hit the head of a teammate. Can't quite do so. We'll spill it to Williams and Trous is quick on the overlap here. Looks to play forward to Ludvigsen. Takes the touch and impeded slightly by Passmore, but is strong to stay on the boys. Ludvigsen oh, off forward for to Jeff Williams Jeff's here. On a run. Cuts in and oh, Tran's very done very well there. From Tran, Pereira, that's Davis there. That's forward to Pereira again. He'll look inboard and he plays it to a teammate there in Corey Davis. Out to Kilmartin. Time on the ball. Tran looks to get past his player in Cameron. Can't quite do so, but he has won a freak, a throw in, sorry, for his efforts. He'll go back to Kilmartin, who will have time here to assess a ball forward. Plenty of time does Robbie Kilmartin have. Dangerous with the ball. What can he find here? Plays the ball in for Jakob. Pace to get forward. De Costa Pereira has some time to assess an option. And very much straight to the hands of Chindam. Quickly out to Williams. And that's a good win there by Smith. And spills out to pass more. Very Exciting stuff early to Costa Pereira. Smith back to the young left back. He'll skip forward. It's a battle between the fives, and that's cleared by Kirby. Yeah, young Trous has done well. A good little battle there between him and young Aiden, so that'll be interesting to see. Just before, the Corey Davis doing a, some great work in the middle there. I think he's one of the most underrated players in this league, and he does a perfectly good job there at number eight. Absolutely. That's thrown in by it to Costa Pereira to Pereira and that's now there is again yeah. nice little ball into the Martin then fantastic there from Corey Davis and Wallace on the ball Cameron he looked to hoof one forward and it'll find its way back to Wallace and look to find Williams who's impeded by Costa Pereira fairly and cleared out from Trous thought that Williams was going to make the run didn't quite connect on that occasion but that link up between Trous and Williams has been very effective in, in recent weeks to Costa Pereira, to Gordon Pereira. Williams looks to get past, still with Pereira. Casarina throw. Seeking forward they are for the run of Casemiro, and it's yeah. Kirby dealing with that strongly and effectively. Yeah, Zach comes over, covers a bit of ground there and deals with the ball. 
I think they're going to look for that long throw in. Um, Gazzarino, definitely with with Mark when he gets that five meters on the on the defender, he's going to just look to burn them mm. with pace. So. Yeah. They'll need to be onto that Mendel throwing by it. Pereira Jakob with the head up, caught off balance there. Mifsud will contest with Tran. Tran wins on this time. Looks to find Kilmarden, who has some space here, but will quickly be fronted by Mappendia, and it takes the man on and cleverly draws in the foul. There wasn't much in on that, but I think Kilmarden did enough just to convince Tim Lay that the foul should go his way. Yeah, just a lovely little bit of footwork there from um, Kilmarden, which just, like I say, drawn in the foul, and it's a dangerous position there from young Jakob, if he swings it in with his right foot, or mm -hmm. let's see if Kilmarden is going to whip it in with his left. Yeah. Sportful choice, Kajarina are with set piece takers. Quick one there, Jakob puts the ball in, looks for oh. Kazmiro, and that was a very exciting bit of set piece work from the Rowdies. Practiced or not, that was exciting, and it needed to be picked up by Mindelais. They looked to be caught off guard by that, and unfortunate for Mark Kazmiro that that was off target. Yeah, find herself asleep there, Mindo, that's for sure. Weren't ready for that one. And a lovely little free kick that pulled off. And unfortunately for Ka Mark Casemiro, couldn't find a target. Yeah. But here we go, Mindo, shot on the attack. McDowell now, time to assess an option. Is closed down by Pereira. That's Leonard now on the ball. He's fronted up by his number 12 in Wallace. Strong to stay on it. Williams now looks to get forward, but that positioning from Newell makes it an easy save or an easy gather. De Costa Piera, pass more. Touches to Davis. Braden McLennan. Time on the ball, does the defender. Now it's Leonard. It's back to McLennan, who might look to change the pace of this attack. He's got options on his left if he can spot De Costa Piera, but he's forced wide. Excellent closing by Williams, which just gives the ball back to Mindel. And so... Very back and forth yeah. early on. Yeah, both teams just looking to play that long ball, and sometimes it's coming off, especially for Mindel. If it's worked a couple of times, but here we go. Casarino trying at that time, and it's not working. But just before you mentioned the position of Newell, and he just floats in between that six yarder and 18 yard, and it just gives him that loads of time to deal with whatever comes. It's so, it's so handy to have a goalkeeper that can almost play as that sort of last man in defense that can read those dangerous attacks before they become dangerous. That's right, George. You are, you, you, I don't know if you've, what position you play, but <laughs> as a defender, when you know you've got yep. a strong, confident keeper, mm -hmm. you, you can kind of just relax a little bit and just Absolutely. do what you need to do. And, and for the manager, right. you've kind of got that fifth, fifth defender. That's right. So. Nifts it now, early ball, and whoa, due to his positioning, eh, another good save from Newell, but Cameron was waiting there to... Tuck away his sixth goal of the season. Won't do it on that occasion. Poor ball from Newell. Wallace will mop that up. Cameron looks to go mid-board for McDowell and does. Trous now has time to assess a teammate. He'll look to go down the wing and does so. Fronted up by Pereira. Good strong play from the Casarina man. Casemiro, heavy touch. And Cameron will go back to Mappendia. Kirby looks to... Release early. Does so for Trous. Well done to take a touch, but it's given away. Piera, Kilmartin. He'll look to go wide for Jakob, and that's a heavy foul on McDowell. And um, that will be a Mindel free kick. Yeah, he's, McDowell has just nicked the ball off of Kilmartin there, and he's just come, come through and caught the player on the on the little cheeky toe yep. there. But it's back good to, from Mindel back on the press. Yep. Through to Wallace. He's got Wallace, time. Uh, and Loads Williams is going to offer plenty. Can we, it's going to be a good here. opportunity for Williams. Struck on his possibly weaker left foot. Couldn't quite get a, a, a venomous shot off. It did well to force a save from Newell, but he'll look to possibly cut in on his right next time. Yeah, he's just second guess himself. He was looking at linesman for some reason, thinking mm. he was offside, and just tried to float over the top for the Luke Vixen, but yep. he didn't pull it off. And uh, There's a chance there. It's gone now. Definitely a let off. That's back to Newell now. He'll look for a teammate and will go across to his experienced central defender and Reza Passmore. He'll go forward for Pereira, being challenged by Kudo very well. Does well to win the ball off the experienced Japanese man, Leonard. That's Wallace, dispossessed, but managed to stay with Mindel. Mapendia being pressured by Kilmartin, found its way through to Wallace, and 
Wallace will look to play forward. Who is man in McDowell. He'll go further wide to Williams. Just had a trouble on Newell's goal. Kudo, Mifsud, and that's McDowell. Look to take a touch in for Williams. Quite on the same wavelength. That's Leonard. Yeah, there's a loose one there from Kane. Mm. And that's Jakob. He'll go forward with time. Kilmarden looks to thread through Jakob. And a touch by Mapendia means that it's going to be a Kajarina throw. Very exciting stuff there. You can definitely see the the danger for Mindel between players like Casemiro and Jakob being fed through by players like Leonard and Kilmarden. That's going to present a danger all day. Uh, yeah, if you give Kilmartin too much room, he'll find that pass. And like I said before, Jakob, dangerous player, and he just makes those little runs that you mm. you won't be aware of, George, as Absolutely. a centre-back, that's for sure. Because <laughs> you'll be looking at Mark Casemiro all day long, yep. looking for him. And as soon as you switch off, you'll find Jakob on your back shoulder. That's, and if, That's right. And if he's got one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, he'll, he'll make the keeper yep. pay, that's for sure. I've seen it happen week <laughs> in, week out so far. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's that player in question, Kilmartin, who's... Fouled slightly. We'll see if that ends up being a possibly a disadvantage. It seems as though Mindel were lining up with sort of Williams and, and Cameron as the two wide players and, and Ludvigsen up forward. When when I saw the other week against Hellenic where you had Ludvigsen and Proust up front, it presented that danger that we just mentioned for Kajarina. We had two prolific goal scorers. But it seems to be that um, McCormick has set up his team to factor in for the, that missing danger man in Proust. Yeah, that's it. Uh, obviously, with Hellenic, different team, different strategy. So with Hellenic, you know, you can score from anywhere. So if you've got two up front, it just gives you that disadvantage on the defence. Yep. But here tonight offers that little bit of freedom with having that third man. And yeah, that's when, when, ah. and he's Sorry, a dangerous attack, attack here. here yeah. Yeah. Kill Martin time to assess and try to throw a ball through for Piera and now will be Wallace to skip away as he does the big here. man. He's on a run. Luke Vixen making that nice run there for the middle. He's pulled it off. He's gone for Jeff again. Jeff gets his heads up. He's got his second chance here. Can he get in? Oh, it's hit the crossbar. Ooh. And that is what I was speaking about earlier to cut in on his right foot to get a better shot away. He did so on that occasion but it's just the crossbar that helped out Dion Newell there. They'll, they'll definitely be aware now to his presence. Jeffrey Williams, that's for sure. We're, we're at one side, George, talking about <laughs> how it's almost in the back of the middle net. Yep. A loose ball from Mc, Mc, uh, Kill Martin. Mm -hmm. It's then found Wallace on the run. Oh. He had a first attempt to try and feed um, Tavian through, but yep. he didn't come off and found Williams again for his second attempt. Yep. And that time, as you said, spot on. Yeah, he's come off the crossbar and. Last week we had ones bouncing off the crossbar and they were going in, <laughs> they were coming off the post, going out, and yep. this time it's gone out. And going out. Exciting stuff for the, for the neutral in this opening 20 minutes, that's for sure. Piera looks to find a teammate being pressured well by McDowell, which will force a loose ball. That's Leonard, Kilmartin, it's only as far as Mindel's McDowell, Wallace. He'll look to hold the ball, plays it back to McDowell, pressured quickly by Tran, Kilmartin. Leonard, look to find Tran, who has the skill to win that back. Piera goes inboard, finds Leonard again. He's got space, the midfielder. Casemiro being pressured straight away by Kirby. Fantastically done by that central defender. He's got Williams out wide. He is onside here. He'll have time to take a touch. Or no, didn't, didn't quite judge that one, <laughs> I think, Williams. I think he thought he had a bit more time on the ball. I think he just let it roll out. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure of... there. I think he <laughs> must have thought it took off a uh, touch yeah. on the Casarino player and he's let rolled out. I think he's getting a corner. But yeah, no. That's, that's a certain through ball from Wallace. Uh, yeah. Which would have been good if he got on top of it, but Not on that occasion. He'll be scratching his head for sure on yeah. that one, thinking what's gone wrong. Neil Ford. Oh, here we go again. Miffs it clears. He's got Ludvigsen who tries to impose himself on on McLennan, but no, nothing doing there. It'll be a, a Mindel throw through Williams. You know, fast and frenetic opening 20 minutes and opportunities for both sides. Williams throws in, cleared out by Tran. Now as far as Mindel's McDowell again. McDowell still competing as he is on the ground, but Davis forward to Tran. He'll find Piera, fronted by Kudo, gets it to Kilmartin. And Cameron! 
Speculative. That's all oh. I'll say. He's 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 seen the stars there, and he's he's thought, <laughs> why not? Yeah. He's Bit kicked a... it for a, a six-pointer yeah. there, I think. Uh, I mean, I don't mind that from a player who, as we, as we mentioned, is top goal scorer for the Aces on on five, and he'll look to get his sixth goal. Um, he's got he's got he's got Ludvigson on his back. He's on four at the moment, so he'll look to. Um, catch him but you know I don't mind that from an attacker you know early on have a shot you know um, dust off possibly some cobwebs and um, yeah yeah with his recent form when you look up and it with his recent form yeah mm. that's fair enough but you, you don't let the lads live it down that he's a top goal scorer in the minute so yeah hopefully he can back up his talking training and bag another one tonight yeah, that's right putting the pressure on Luke Vixen and keeping yep. him underneath him with the, the score tally mm -hmm. that's now Piera for Casarina will go back to McLennan. Looks to get forward. Tries to. But Mepindia's there with pressure. It's Ludvigson now again on the ball. Good skill to get a touch off the Casarina play and win himself a throw. And Williams will skip forward to take this one. Uh, very, very uh, dangerous as he's been in the opening 23 and a half minutes. Yeah, need a bit more movement here. Just offer him something different. Yeah. Ludvigsen, he'll look to go in, but he'll go back and Tran does well to no. dispossess the Mendel player and go forward as far as the man just mentioned, Williams. He's very clever to trick out Kilmartin and Mifsud tries there. to put a ball in for Cameron. Well well done from Persmall, but now it's McDowell. Right Good skill there. there. Time. Cut back to James. Oh, great save by Newell. Oh. Very, very good opportunity. It's delivered again from Williams. Ludvigsen! How's that? Oh, another little foot and ball in. And I, I, I tell you what, it was a great header from Tavian, but you can't take nothing away from uh, Newell there. Two great saves wow. last minute, and he's he's wow. got a hand to every single one of them. Wow. Bit of appreciation there from between Cameron and, and the goalkeeper, Newell. Um, corner kick, Williams with it. In swinger looks to find the head of Wallace, skips past everyone. It's Kilmartin at the back, and he'll clear it but not as far as a, a Mindle throw. Yeah, that appreciation from Newell to Cameron. He, he's seen that last minute, so he's, he's done well to get it with his hand. <laughs> yep. Um, but yeah, they are another one. Oh, it's found its way to Cameron again. Uh, and it's bounced. It's gone oh, over the bar. Over, over from McDowell. It's a ball that sort of found its way to. Mindel's number 10 didn't think it would get to him and just sort of th thought I'd get a, a touch onto that. If it goes in, it goes in, but... Yeah, a few mate. ricochets there and yep. a couple of shots for handball, but Timmy's explained to Kirby, well, yep. you couldn't see it and there's not much he could do there. That's so. right. Yeah. Oh, lovely little five minutes of play yeah. here from both sides, to be honest. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so Newell will go quickly to pass more. Casarina will look to try and... Get an attack formed, but that's Trous reading that well. He's got a man in the midboard, and it's, it's McDowell. Takes a touch inside, outside. Still going is Kane McDowell. Very good skill to retain the ball. Has a shot and deflected off a Casarina player, but now it's James Cameron out wide. Cameron tries to flick a ball forward to Ludvigsen, and unfortunately it's gone out of play for a goal kick. But Mindel, a very, very dangerous um, Casarina, aren't quite closing down the onslaught of players that seem to commit to every attack for Mindel so far. Oh yeah, Kazarina playing some good football but they just haven't got that bite to the first ball and they're losing mm -hmm. out on it. Mindel yeah. just pouncing on every ball at the minute and yeah. winning every single one. Here we go again, that's Jakob not reading it and coming early but they're hoping for this catching yep. Mindel and trying to catch them on the on the overlap. That's but right, yep. It's not going to work tonight, especially if they keep this up, Mindel. Yep, thrown by it to Costa Piera, Casemiro. Casarina will look to get some rhythm going, but they can't on this occasion at all. But to Costa Piera being pressured, Kudo will take Kudo's the ball away from Passmore. Here comes Kudo down he's the right-hand wing. He's got time and space, and he's clear of the defender. Kudo, he's got Ludvigsen, it's in. Goal. It's one new. Tacking Fan Kudo. Fantastic work there from Mindelasis. And that draws some appreciation from the crowd who have come in early and in strong numbers. That's capitalised on their opening 27 minutes of frenetic pressure. Ta and you saw it out wide here, Taiki Kudo taking the ball off. Kajarina in, in Passmore, skipped by, and he had clear acreage, and Ludwig said offered the 
opportunity for a tap in and he took it. Oh, he's a little a little motorhouse. He K McDowell winning the challenge first, plays that little one two with Taki and then he was on the attack. I thought he was gonna have a little shot, but he got his head up, seen Luke Vixen, played the ball and Tavis just had a little cheeky uh dink in from six yards out easy. One nil as you like. One nil, Mindalasis. Kazrina will need to respond and see if they can form some momentum and goalkeeper kicks it long. Kilmartin on the ball for Kazarina. Pereira looks to go back to Kilmartin, does so. He'll go back to Pereira. He'll go to Jakob, who will take a touch in front of Trous and look to skip away from the young defender. Tucks the ball across and, oh, uh, it's literally again. missed, but still dangerous here. And Rapindia got a touch off from Kilmartin, so that'll be a corner kick for Kazarina. Yeah, Could Mendo have very needs... dangerously been 1 1. Yeah, Mendo need to stay, stay alert. Kazarina, this is probably the. The best time where they're at their um, most threatening is when they do go 1-0 one, one down. They'll, yep. they'll be quick to, to reply with a 1-0. Absolutely. But they just need to settle down here and be stay composed, that's for sure. Pereira with the corner. McDowell will clear that first, and Williams takes a great that's touch a to bring it touch. down. McDowell tries to skip past Casemiro, but he's one of the quickest men in, in the trade. Pereira, good flick off for Tran. He'll go back and... Look to go forward again, but Mifsud keeps him honest there. Good touch in oh, from the captain. That one again. Yep, and he's got a Can man out wide. Up. Can he send? He again, spots him again. on his way. And what can Kudo do on the left hand side now? He's got Cameron spinning ahead. Cameron's got Cameron that one. takes a touch. Ah, oh, terrible. Unfortunately for Cameron, it was an experienced pass more there, but it's still now with Williams. Another loss. He's got time, and he has a shot. Very, very. Dangerous now, Mindor. They're pushing on for more, and the, uh, they just don't give up at the minute. They just want every ball. They see absolutely. it, they'll read it, they'll win it, and then straight on the attack. Came down really well, just to hold the ball up well and and allow the the two wingers to actually make a run and choose which one he wanted. Yep. And he went with Taki again, a little more house running down. He's playing central, and he's <laughs> he's finding himself at the minute everywhere. Everywhere, that's right. Bit of a break in play, just to quickly cut to. Some of our sponsors, we've got McDonald's here. Uh, th thank you for the work that they do in women's football and live streaming. Diamond Barbers as well. They've got three locations in Parat, Bellamac, and the CBD. Book now in 2021. Stay fresh. Diamond Barbers open seven days. But now, Passmore. They're being corralled into their own defence here at Casarina. Newell goes to Davis and takes a heavy touch. He'll skip away. and Strong work. Heavy but challenge there. By, and that's... Pereira looks for Tran will oversell that one slightly and Minder will be in no hurry to take this throw in and uh, it's yes. been it, it's like it, you can't blame Kazrina now for trying to initiate an attack but it just seems as though Minder are, are placed perfectly to deal with anything they've got to throw at them yeah they'll, they'll, they'll keep coming Kazrina and, and they're probably one of the, the better teams in games where they can adapt and change it up and they look to go I think Young, I think it's Braden at the back just mm -hmm. needs to settle down. A yep. couple of few errors that obviously led to that first goal. Yep. And uh, him and Passmore just link up a little bit more and sink mm. brains, I think. But Absolutely. The coach is getting a little bit um, <laughs> pneumatic out there. And yep. He wants more from his players, and I'm sure he'll get it between now and the end yeah. of the night in a minute. That's so. right. Cameron, an opportunity for Mindel, and Jakob finds himself in defence dealing with that one. Newell back to his winger. Jakob will look to find Leonard and takes a touch. Oh, there's Leonard and he'll go wide and it's a scrappy ball there. Not quite composed and a Casarina early on. They've had a couple opportunities but their general rowdy build-up play has not been present in this opening half an hour or so of play and that'll yeah. be a deterrent for them if they were to get back into this. But a bit more pressure there from Taki again winning, mm -hmm. the, winning the throw in. Yep, absolutely. Casarina. Tran gives it away to McDowell. Plenty of time to assess a teammate. Very skillful is the Mindel number 10. He'll look to go back or forward, and he'll take on a few. Eventually dispossessed by Gordon Pereira. He'll go forward, touch out to Jakob, and he'll look further on for De Costa Pereira. He's got Kilmartin making runs, and he'll That's a honor that. ball from Eden. Kilmartin now going down this wing against Trous. Trous keeps him honorable, and he has hey, done gone. very well. And Wins the throw for the aces. Fantastic d work done by the young right back. Yeah, Kilmartin's done well then, just to turn him inside out a little bit, but he's kept his cool and he's managed to win the ball back and force that error from Kilmartin to put out for throwing. And back on the ball with through Mifsud. Oh, just gives that one away. Wasn't quite reading the play with Williams, but 
He'll be let off for that one. That's Davis. He's got time. And he'll try to go forward here. He does so. Can kill Martin on the end of this. He does. Heavy touch. Trask gets a boot onto that. Still with Kilmartin, though. Goes into the middle for Leonard, who will try and take a shot. and Rather tame, and Chindam gets down early and makes a very comfortable save. Yeah, nice little le leave of the ball there from Jakob for, for this shot. And I do, just didn't connect well, but low and hard, and the keeper's done well to get down there and deal with it, like you say. Yep. That'll give him a little bit more confidence in the sticks. Absolutely. Pereira now against... Miff's a good challenge there from both players. McDowell skip forward. He runs there from Ludvigsen, offers it. Strong to hold off two defenders there. Ludvigsen still on the ball. They'll look for some teammates here and eventually go back to Trous, who will go out to Cameron. Cameron well onto oh. Trous, and he can skip past Pereira. Has That's a, a lovely in. ball into the middle. And McDowell looks to find some space. Dealt comfortably with on that occasion, but he's, he seems to be everywhere, similar to his teammate in Kudo. McDowell is up and down. Yeah, he's looking a bit tired now, though. He's nice little chest down and skips it past to set oh. himself up for a shot. And here's Jakob again on a run. Yep, it's Jakob. Pereira. Gotta play it back to Jakob. Go further back to Davis. He's got teammates in space, and it will go, instead go back to pass more. Jakob. Finds himself in the central area of the park. Davis needs to be quick and being caught out there. McDowell, Cameron, Kirby take time to look forward and assess an option. And that's one in his goalkeeper, Chindam. Yeah, smart, smart ball play there from Zach. Using his keeper, starting again, just seeing nothing on. And normally just look for the wingers and play a long pass, but he's done well. Listen, his captain there and went back to the keeper. Very nicely done. Loose one from Lucas. Yep, that's De Costa Pereira and Kilmartin sort of coming back against the, the play there. The ball skips past the Casarina player. Kirby will have plenty of time to play it forward and tries to. Leonard against McDowell and De Costa Pereira. Good touch out there wide. Jakob, time to turn and he'll attack the Mindel defenders. Oh, so lovely little draws in Trouse. Kilmartin, what can he do? Puts in a ball, looks for Pereira, skips past Mifsud. Goes early to Casemiro. Ooh, good. Well challenge. done for Mappendia there. Pereira back in. Kilmartin tries to get on the end of that, but that will prove nothing. Goal kick. Oh. As you see, Gordon brought that down really well and just played a nice little ball into Mark Casemiro there. Had a little touch and Calvin's done well just to get his foot in there and take the ball and not the man. Could have been a, a dangerous little challenge there, yep. but he's done well. Very well. Central defender. Kilmartin asking more from his team and just wants that attack and just yep. trying to win those balls, like I was saying a couple of minutes ago. Uh, yep. It's just Mindo just coming first first to every ball at the mm -hmm. minute and yep. he wants that from his team, which is acceptable, yep. especially coming into the, the hard 100%. game during the week. So. Yeah, yeah, big game. Yep. De Costa Pereira back to Newell. He'll look for a teammate if anyone's offering for the goalkeeper, but instead he goes just short to pass more. Goes across goal to McLennan. He'll look for an option. Teammates quickly being closed down. Tran's got some space. He does take a touch and tries to go early, but well done from Kudo. But Casemiro pinches his pocket, and hey. here comes the, the winger. Time to turn back. Does so to Tran. Tran to Pereira. Pereira goes forward. Looks for Kilmartin. Finds him. Kilmartin again forward. Tries to go to Casemiro and thought he was offside, the striker. Again, to... another one. He's he's fought his offside and he's he's well onside there. Yep. Just stop running. Mm. Play yep. the whistle. Yep, that's right. Say every week, every week, <laughs> play the whistle because yep. if you don't, then you lose your chance. And that Very was the well. one that could have could have seen them go on. Yep. Well done on that recent occasion by Kajrina putting some pressure on the Mindel defence, which opted for a throw for the Aces. They need a. Pick up this pressure, the Rowdies. They're well, they've started well off the the pressure gauge, that's for sure. And Mindel have made it count in the early goal to Ludvigsen. And it's Cameron trying to go forward. McLennan early needs to be and is Pereira. He'll look to go 
back in board and does so to Jakob. Early touch there for Kilmartin. Here he goes on for De Costa Piera. Here's Casarina now. What can they offer? And it's a good tackle from Cameron, which forces a corner for the Rowdies. Yeah, young Jakob's took a heavy knock here. He's moving a bit gingerly, but they played advantage and yep. they've got a corner out of it. So I think that's a, a good change this season where the referees are allowing the advantage yes. to play on and instead of just blowing the whistle straight up, Absolutely. which was killing it a few times yeah. in a couple of games last year, especially those important ones where you get into the 90 minutes and yeah. if something was on and the whistle were blowing, yes, it was absolutely. gone. And there have been a few goals I've, I've, I've recollected from those advantages being made by referees. So, I mean, as a player, you'd often welcome it on, on occasion. But here, a quickly taken corner. Pereira. That's a great strike. Great shot. And Chindam needed to be aware of that. He had Casemiro lurking near him. And confidently done. The goalkeeper is, hoofs that forward. And Williams... Trying to get onto the end of that. He will contest with Tran. And Tran needs to be well to win it and does. Tran now goes to Leonard. Finds him. Good touch to Jakob. Jakob out to Pereira. Oh, still with the ball is Pereira. Leonard. He'll go back to McLennan. Being forced back at Casarina. They're trying to get out of their defensive half. Tran back to McLennan. And he'll seem to go all the way back to Newell and does. Time does now have the goalkeeper, Newell, back to his defender, McLennan. I've seen before, that's that, that fifth defender, you know. Yep, absolutely. Never, another option. If you, your keeper's confident, you can go back and use him. And yep. Just look to be adventurous there from Pereira, but no runs honouring his play. And Ludvigsen and McLennan was smart to get that one out early. Yeah, he's, he's starting, to, starting to wake up now and mm -hmm. just get rid of a ball instead of trying to play a nice little football in, yep. in around the back area, which the manager will be screaming at him not to do. But Yeah, absolutely. Mess around with it there. and if Often you... pay the price, that's for sure. That's it, George. Williams does well and earns a foul there, being held up by Tran. It's a Mendel free kick coming on to 40 minutes in this half and it's been a strong start from the aces and Mifsud will look to add a second. He's got plenty of options. Kirby sneaking in. Wallace back post. In by Mifsud. Ball. Looks to be come in, over his in and it's that's gone. a goal. And Zach Kirby scored from the back post. And I mentioned it prior. It was a sneaky run into the box from Kirby. I don't think he was picked up there by any Casarina player but the centre-back will be happy to find the back of the net. And he's done so a few times this season. Notches his third goal in 2021. And that was a, it was a fantastic ball, first of all, from the captain. To oh, lovely little floating ball into the to dangerous area. And as you say, Zach just sneaked into the back, not unmarked. Newell's come out for it. Unfortunately for him, it's just floated over the top of him. Missed time to jump, and Zach's done a lovely header just to sneak it in the front post. And Absolutely. Uh, he's finding himself 2 0 up just before half time. Yeah. Putting a bit more pressure on Casarina now, and putting That's the onus on them to come out of the second half and try and work something to for come sure. back here. So. Yeah, plenty of time. That's for sure to go. Five minutes less to go till half time. And the Aces find themselves in a very comfortable position thus far. Leonard, though, for Casarina, what can he do? Not much in that time, and he's simply pushed off the ball by Wallace. Strongly done. McDowell can turn here and find oh, Ludvigsen, and he is just slightly offside, unfortunately, the striker, but he won't mind there. They are asking all the questions right now, Mendel Aces, and Casarina being saved by a flag there. Yeah, another nice. goal there could have come. Um, yep. Just straight offside. I could see it happening as soon as he'd done it. And mm -hmm. he's been working on that, so he'll be kicking himself. So yep. Newell will be happy with the flag went up there. Unfortunate, that's for sure, on that occasion. But Newell will look to play one out to the left. And Pereira will contest with Trous and hits neither player. And straight off from the goal, from the offside kick, we are Mindelaces throw. Trous will bring that one back into play. He'll look for a teammate offering, and he's got Wallace all the way in the centre. Takes a touch back to Trous, who will head that forward. Forward to Wallace yeah, again. Nice little flick on that. That's, oh, right. that's a lovely that. ball through. Cameron. Newell was on it, though. Yep. And needed Reads to be, it well. Needed to read that cleverly and did so. Pass more. 
Davis to Costa Pereira. What can he do out here? Nothing, says McDowell. Well done. And unfortunate for the young left back, it was a foul on number 10 for Mindel. Uh, you'd be stupid to think that Casarino couldn't come back in this game, especially with, like I say, 45 minutes. Uh, yep. They'll, they'll have a good shot at half time and come out a certain in the second half. But so far, so good from Mindo, and they just need to keep this pressure on. Yep. Another set piece. Proved dangerous. Trouss puts that in. It's Looks ahead of McDowell. Skips kick. past. McDowell still with it and caught off guard there. But Newell will happily see that roll to his feet. He'll look to springboard an attack early. He's got Davis who he can try that through. Goes Another good forward. free kick there, George. It's fell yeah. straight to Zach Kirby again. Yep. Um, which then bounced off his shin, I think. Uh, yep. Found its no. way to McDowell and caught off guard there and put through the goalkeeper. But it's got Mindelace's throw here through captain Matthew Mifsud. He'll throw forward. Tried to find Wallace. Instead, it's Kilmartin onto Casemiro. Jakob. Casemiro. Gets a good touch to his attacker. Pereira. He's got time. From here. That's Goes a wide. Ball out to Kilmartin. Kilmartin. And he's straight offside. Yeah, straight himself offside. And it was tight, George. From the winger. Tight. Yeah, absolutely. It was enterprising play from Katarina, but nothing on that occasion. And skips us ever so closer to half time. And we'll mention Ruli a. Massive thank you to Steel Line GRP providing service over and above in the Northern Territory as well as NTF. They're your local construction supplier, NTF. And so coming towards the end of this first half, you'd have two camps really going into the interval in different positions. Yeah, my, Dan will be taking his players into his changing rooms happy, uh, especially with the oh. performance so far. And here we go on another, another attack. Oh, dangerous here Still from Mendel. Well done from Cameron and asking the question and Tim Lay waves that one away. Possibly a handball. They'll have opportunities to look back at that. But now it's Jakob quickly on for Kajarina. An attack now for the Rowdies. What can he do? Got Puts a, a pair ball of in. in at the back six. Pereira looks to take a touch early. Trous shows him out and he'll do he's so well, very well, the right back. And he'll see that out for a Kajarina throw, but... Yeah, a big bounce in the box there, a big shout, yep. and nothing given from Tim. So, mm -hmm. never no. one given, never one gone. No, that's that's for sure. You're in a dangerous position. They were Mindel, and it's a throw in now. Pereira, he'll come back in board. Looks to take on Trous. Does so on that occasion. Kudo offering. Pereira gets strong, past him as well. Strong goes in. in there. Looks for Kilmartin. Well done by Trous early. Williams offering some defence. Clears forward. Ludvigsen tried to get a touch there. Couldn't do so. Yeah, a little bit of a high foot yeah. there. There would be one minute of time added on. One yeah, so as we're entering the final minute of the first half, in a, it's, been a, it's been a half that hasn't really had many, many quiet moments. It's been <laughs> an attack on both sides, and that's resulted in two goals in favour of Mindelasis. And it's been lively, George. And going back to your question before, yeah, Dan will be happy with his side. And yep. I think um, Gazarina will be going in the change rooms and just asking for that link-up play that they, they're really good at. And yeah, absolutely. They get their heads up and hopefully come out second half for that comeback Different, fight. Yeah. And oh, here we're on. And, oh, through and, that's a lovely ball yeah, through from Jakob there. Very well done from Jakob. Not quite linking with Leonard, his midfielder, and that was that link-up play you just alluded to. That's not just It's not quite there at the moment, but if Kazarina can get that on song, we could be in store for a entertaining second half that's for sure but at the moment we have a 2-0 lead to Mindelasis through goals from Tavian Ludvigsen and, and Zach Kirby and so it's been a it's been a first half Levi that has had everything you'd like oh up and down a couple of crossbars great saves from the keeper and then obviously the wonderful two goals that you've seen as well um like I say Catherine, I'll go in and have a chat and they'll come out looking for their couple goals on the scoreboard and we'll see it interesting in the second half. Absolutely. And so until that, we'll have a short break and come back to you with the second half of this round 17 men's Premier League match. We'll see you soon.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to this Round 17 Men's Premier League match in this very cool, conditioned 4 o'clock kickoff here. We've got a 2-0 scoreline coming at you. It was a fantastic first half from Mindelasis, and I've seen them go into the breaks with this handy lead, and they're the first team back out awaiting their position in Casuarina, and you've been greeted um, by it looks to be some substitutions from both sides um, for Casuarina it is uh, definitely one of the Newell brothers coming on that is Ryan um, and well, what does it seem to be for Mindel who seems to have made the change yeah Tanu is coming on and so I think young Lucas has come off not really too sure why but yep. I'm sure we'll find out at the end of the game on that one um, yeah, yeah Mindel coming out early there and Casuarina playing that little bit of mind tricks hopefully and <laughs> It might work the second half. Yep, absolutely. It's uh, both both figuratively and literally they've they've come out first. Mindel they've definitely um, hit this match in a, with with confidence and, and it's shown in the way they've played and a lot of that was through uh, their young right back in in, in Trous. So I wonder what a uh, um, replacement who will offer Mindel going down that right hand flank. Yeah, a lot of the play went down that side, um, and he done a great, great job. Uh, obviously, yeah. James and um, Jeff were swapping sides, yeah. which helped a little bit. But yep. Tanza, Tanza, great player himself, and I don't think you're going to see much difference here. And you'll probably offer that um, replacement. That's great. That's that's good. Yeah, you you often are starved of that, especially in 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 Australia's Northern Territory in in, in the men's Premier League, where you've got like for like players. So. McCormick will be glad that he's got a, a like replacement for Trous, so then that means that O will be able to offer the same sort of uh, impact. I yeah, guess. since since I've moved over here, I've found that a, a lot of teams have got the the twos and the three good players, and then everyone else just kind of <laughs> in around positions. it. But yep, especially towards the end of last season and this season, like for like teams, strong 11s that yep. can just replace, and most teams have got strong depth with an extra 11 players that. Uh, in the background somewhere, and they can just draw from. So it's good yep. to see from every team so far this season. Yep, absolutely. Every so. little tackle there between uh, Wallace and Piera. Yep. Early on again, That's an ball. Like Jakob pouncing on that one. Jakob will look to get onto this one past the substitute. And, ooh, and another substitute, Newell gets an early touch. Casemiro back to Newell. He'll look to find Jakob, but who will just see that out. No hassles for the substitute. Yeah, we, we asked the question in the first half, see how will mm. Casarina respond, and yep. they've come out with that eager pounce on yeah. the ball that they want to win every time now. Absolutely. And Jakob's got oh, a lovely little touch through. Jakob! On Off the head of Mapendia, and that's out for a, a corner. Very dangerous opportunity, but they've definitely shown their intentions early, the Rowdies, in this second half. And yeah, just a nice little touch through to send him on his way, and then just looked up and had a shot, and... I didn't really see her bounced off, but just yeah. bounced the other side of the right-hand post. Absolutely, yeah. Could have bounced in the goal there. Lucky. It's a corner kick for Casarino, which will be delivered by Kilmartin. That dangerous left foot that he possesses will look to whip into a teammate. And here... Yeah, nice dangerous little foot and ball in here. Confidently cleared from Kirby there. Well done by the goal scorer. Davis retreats to receive that and sloppily tried to play it to Kilmartin, but Mifsud will, won't be quick to take this throw. He'll confidently approach it and he'll throw that back into play. Looks for Ludvigsen. Tran gets front position. McDowell. Again Tran. Off his head. Mindle throw. Yeah, Casarino started off stronger, stronger than a two this half so far and Long way to go, but in yep. a minute you'd like to think they'll come back and yep. yeah, it's bounced off for a handball. Unfortunate there for Williams and Casarina will rebound the other way with this free kick as the players make their way into attacking positions. Who will Pereira find? It goes short to Jakob. It takes a touch. Goes back to Pereira. And he goes back to Jakob. Quick touch to Newell. Pereira. Looks for the run of Tran and finds it. And Mapendia will do well to shepherd that out. Goal kick. Definitely seems to be a bit more 
vocal um, ability, ability and, and, and definitely intent from Casarina uh, to start the second half, Levi, that's for sure. Yeah, Golden, I've seen him just before they come on, having a quick chat with his team, getting them motivated, and Jakob's making some lovely movement in the middle there just mm-hmm. to offer that, and Ryan Ewell's come on, looking sharp, and yep. again offering that um, little bit of possession ball in the middle, so good Absolutely. to see you so far. Absolutely. And so Chindam will look to clear forward, goal kick for him, and he'll go to find the head of Wallace, does so brilliantly, places that on for McDowell to move forward, and he can find Cameron or Wallace, but instead it comes out to U, who'll find its way to Cameron. He'll take a touch and cut in board. He goes, looks to ball. Williams. Well dealt with with uh, New. Fantastic positional awareness from the goalkeeper to get just in front of the oncoming Mindel attacker. Pass more. Jakob. He'll go take a touch forward. He'll go to Kilmarden, who can assess an option here. Instead goes back middle to Jakob. Again, trying to find oh. the on coming run but instead that's uh, offside flag for to Costa Piera who must have just made his run slightly mistimed um, dangerous yeah. uh, play from Casarina in a, in a passage of play that Mindel's been so good in that overlap play from the, the left and right back to get forward um, we saw an instance just then Casarina trying to emulate possibly what they've just been seeing all that first half yeah. via Mindel. They were doing it, the one-twos. You see, again, Jakob playing that passage of ball and screaming for it back and just commanding for it and played that lovely ball for uh, young Aiden. And from this angle, he looked like he was onside. <laughs> so the, the assistant um, down there must have had a, a clear angle Eagle from there. That's for sure. Yep. Chinned him forward. He'll look to hit the head of Wallace instead it finds Pereira. Casemiro, poor touch. Kudo will... Steal that, miffs it, up in deer under pressure, quick touch, forced it to Newell, and he can go switchboard to Jakob, and what can U do? He does very well in that instance. Kirby with the ball, takes a touch forward and looks for a teammate, returns it to U, and he'll go to Cameron. Cameron goes inboard. Well done to uh, Kudo, and they can stretch the rowdies here. And you've got Mifsud not being tracked here. Early ball for Williams, skips past him, and Cameron will keep Casarina honest there. De Costa Piera will look to emerge for the Rowdies. Kilmartin will go back inside and look to go forward once more. Jakob. Jakob takes a touch and proceeds forward. He goes in for Newell. Back to Kilmartin. He's pressured early from Cameron and does so, but he'll let it go back to skip past a few players there. But seems to be a bit more pressure on by the Rowdies early on, and they need to need to be on it. Um, yeah, they've come out fighting in the second half. They they know what they want, and the the set out by the minute look like the set out to to get what it is. So yep, Tan's playing yeah, some brilliant ball so far, and they're just not not reaching Jeff. But yep. he's a menace here, and he'll keep fighting for Still this one. Good there, and he's trained as well, and so did Williams. McLennan needed to just clear that, and did so for Tr- Tran. He goes forward to Pereira, back to Tran, who will give it away to. Mifsa, dangerous. Ludvigsen takes an early touch. Williams looks for Cameron, and Tran will need to eventually mop that up, but it's not going to go that far because it's with U. Ludvigsen, touch inside. Neil does well to pick his pocket. And yeah, heavy little touch there. Kilmartin, poor ball there. Yeah, I don't know why he's played that one there. Like you say, Ryan was screaming down the left yeah. of him, and that would have been a better option to Absolutely. play. Absolutely, but... yeah. Up in deer. Oh, it's a lovely ball through to James from. To find Cameron, but McLennan does well, and Cameron equally so to keep his defender honest. Ludvigsen, heavy touch, but atones for that. McLennan eventually just clears that out of play. Newell now with the ball. He'll go out to Pereira, but heavy touch. Early signs look good for Kajarina, but it looks like it's taken nearly 10 minutes, but Mindel have settled back into this game. I really, really like the look of um, Ryan Yeo coming in. He's he's offered a, a better option in the middle there. and yep. He's definitely come on and he's looking alive tonight. Yep, that's for sure. Unfortunate high boot there. Corey Davis doing his best to win that free kick. And he'll wait for a teammate to come and just instead hoofs that forward. Looks to find Jakob. Kirby strong and... 
Puts that out for a throw in for Casharina, who will look to take this quickly. Jakub Pereira, he looks to get forward. Casemiro has been fairly quiet this afternoon, but gets a touch there. Ludvigsen did well, and he was uh, off, caught off footing and wins a f free kick, which. He's run almost 15 metres there, Josh, yeah. to win that back for his team. And it's, those, it's those efforts that the rest of your team sort of appreciates from, from your striker. Not just scoring goals, but getting back and doing that extra bit for your, for your team. You need to keep the pressure on here, Mindu. They've um, come out of the second half looking a little bit fatigued. And... Yep, I've been dear long. Looks to get onto the foot of Williams. Does so to get past his defender and DeCosta Piera. O in the middle. Look to find Ludvigsen. So it's kind out to Davis. McDowell. Right, Cameron. Cameron's won that well. Still with Cameron, does well He's to get past Tran. Here goes Cameron down the left. Looks to go back inside. Kudo! Oh. Yeah, James has done a lovely little bit of skill there. Put it through Tran's legs and then looked up and found Kudo. Kudo from there. Uh, he bangs him in training sometimes, but yeah, not his preferred distance, I guess. Yeah, it's unfortunate to not get that on target but well to take the shot pass more looks to go for Casarina Jakob just sprints past Kudo Pereira looks to find Casemiro who uses his pace to get past Mapindia looks to get some trickery off there still with Casemiro Casemiro caught by Mapindia and that seems to be a head challenge there yeah just a uh Unfortunate a sort of lazy boot there. Yeah, on the... that's right. No, no intention there from the Mindel player. Just, but you need to pause the game. Just give an opportunity if required for the Casarina medical team to have a look at Casemiro. Tim Lay will do best to a judge if it requires attention, but Casemiro looks to be okay. Just taking some time, and Mindel will take that time to rehydrate. A couple bit of word there from their coach. Yeah, Mark Casemiro not happy there. Feels like it was his intention, I think. Yep. But as you said, nothing nothing meaningful there from it. Mm -hmm. I'll take it back. Yep, drop ball. Mapping dear forward. I'm on the head of Ludvigsen and Tran Strong clears that straight away. Strong header flick on there. Kajarina Jakob. He's got time. Kilmartin looks back inside. Goes back out on his left. Has a shot and couldn't quite call that to his advantage, Kilmartin, and nevertheless, Chindon was in a good position to deal with that. Yeah, he's, he's got his head up earlier there, looking for the shot. Gordon Piera screaming down the right-hand side again. Another missed opportunity there. Of, yep. He'll be, he'll be upset with that one. That's for sure. Chindon forward. Looks to find Mifsud. Will be contested by Piera. Done very well he's won that. to arrive late. Gordon Pereira, Newell. Done very well since coming on the substitute. Davis looks back across field. Jakob, he can go one more, but Wallace is strong to win that. Ludvigsen slightly behind Wallace, but Williams is there to mop up and sort of asking Wallace to get forward. But He's asking a lot there from Wallace. <laughs> yeah. He's quick, but he's not that not quick. that quick, yep. Pointed at his feet, showed him that that's where he wanted it. But Just played it slightly too far forward. But right idea. Um, yep. If it was me and I was on there, it's probably something that I would have done as well. So yep. can't rule that one out from no. Jeff. Um, probably not in the sinking minds there, will you? That's okay on that occasion. Newell takes early to Jakob. He's got DeCosta Pierre in acres, and he'll go to young left back. He takes a heavy touch, but still managed to get a cross in. And Casemiro to Jakob Pereira. And Struck that on the outside of the boot, and it was always going in that direction, unfortunately, for Casarina. Dangerous little cross there from young Aiden, and yep. again, like Mindo did in that first half, that floating little ball, uh, ball into the penalty area, and Jakob brought it down nicely and put it in uh, Gordon Pierre's path, and yep. as you just said there, it's just gone slightly right of the post. So. Mm -hmm. Still 2-0 here. Yep. Still 2-0. Yeah, doing their best, Casarina, to make inroads in that deficit. Ludvigsen, Wallace, got time on the ball, looks to go forward and does so, taking Dylan on there. Davis. Lovely turn. There goes Maddie Wallace, still with the ball, another 
couple of touches there. Still Wallace out to Ooh here with time to put a cross in. Does so. Looks for Is Wallace. Oh, oh it's brilliant play passage here from oh. the halfway line. He's then turned Dylan made 20, 20, 30 yards run. Oh. Heads up, looks out to Tan. Tan's Fantastic got work. Lovely there. little foot and ball back into the penalty box and Wallace, oh, if he had that moment again, he'd probably take it down his chest and, and connect that, with his foot. That, yeah, absolutely. I was thinking the same, but that just shows some brilliant interplay from any any kids watching there from that one-two play, which began out on the left-hand side. Good ball to play it to U and made that run back into the box. And oh. as you said, if he had the second opportunity, I'm sure he would have laced that past Newell, but not on this occasion. But they will have an opportunity. There's a head Maybe on head connection here. Yeah. yeah. Lay quick to bring yeah. that to a, to a stoppage. Just as they've turned there, they've just clashed heads at that yeah. horrible height where you bend over trying to protect the ball. Yeah, and yep. Both players feeling the effects of that one and might see some medical attention come to the field yeah, from both teams. Yep. Yeah, for Timmy, he'll have to do that. Um, yeah, it looks like it'll be Williams and, and De Costa Piera that have come off worse for wear. Um sort of gives both teams an opportunity to catch their breath in this second period of play. Hasn't been any clear-cut chances other than the first, but some exciting opportunities nonetheless. Oh, it's been... I think it's been a little bit better than the first, I have to be honest. I know the goals are scored in the first, but Kazmir have come out fighting. Newell's offered a lot more. Jakob's moved, movement is a hell of a lot better in the middle, and Casemiro still got that burning pace at... 50, 60 minutes into the game and yep. most players would be tired about now but he still holds it and look, if they can keep this pressure on and find those passes that they, they know they can and yep. they can score from anywhere, Kazarina so just need to stay composed work the ball, keep hold of it a little bit more there, Absolutely. They're just looking for that over the ball pass, a little bit rushed and come out and if, if he can listen to his teammates and just get his head up and find that right option They'll find herself back in this game, I yep. reckon. Yeah, that's right. Casarina, despite the scoreline, are never too far off in, in any match they play in. With a with a flick of a dime, they can be back into a match before you know it. And yeah. so, we'll see what happens. Jeff's going to have to come off here, I think. Um, yeah, I think I think McCormick is going to do the smart thing and, and make a substitution here. And you, you were mentioning pre-game um, for this man here, and... Yeah, George, he's, he's been out for almost uh, probably half the season last and he's just come back in the last two games and he's made his way back into the Prem and offers that speed down the right-hand side just as much as Jeff will and he's got a hell of a shot as well if he can connect with it. Fantastic work and that's... That's number, Eamon Kelly, yeah. Uh, number 21. Eamon Kelly, a big occasion for him coming back in. We hope that Williams, it's just more of a precautionary substitution... He's had a fantastic afternoon, has Jeffrey Williams. and yeah, we, we wish him all the best and we hope he's all right um, going forward. Yep. Good decision there from Dan. Yep. Exciting times, though, for Kelly to come onto the pitch. Tran slips but gets a touch onto that, goes back to McLennan. Well done to put it back to Tran, Pereira quickly. Mapendia, Chindam signaled for that and got to that very confidently. Mapendia. Looks to go forward, trying to find Kelly early on, but McLennan will clear that as far as McDowell. Looked to get an early touch, and Jakob intercepted that before it could reach Cameron. De Costa Pereira gets a touch inboard. Jakob still proceeding forward as Jakob to De Costa Pereira. Back to Jakob. A lot of one-two play from these two players. Back once again to De Costa Pereira. Back to Gordon Pereira. He's won that. He well stole done. that out of the little pocket there. Yep. But there's that passage of play I was talking about. You yeah. Know, if they can just hold that, keep doing that, then they'll yep. force Mindel back and then they'll just keep that pressure on. and mm -hmm. Head into play, that's for sure. Seems to be substitution in the offing for Casharina. And um, who? It's Curtis, no? Curtis Smith, number 15. Yep, Curtis Smith. He'll be coming onto the pitch for a very spent Corey Davis. Has done well into in the middle of the park and unfortunately couldn't quite back up a full 90. But 
he's done really well in the middle to be honest um, sure he'll be a bit a bit guy coming off there but we will see what Curtis can do offer him a bit something different but that one's a little loose on there that's Quinlan Tran just oh, possessed this has won that well it's to keep the pressure here. on here dangerous play from Kajarina oh it's a late challenge unfortunate he was always going for the ball, Wallace, and just unfortunately colliding with Tran. And good bit of sportsmanship there from Wallace, just making sure that Tran's okay. And yeah, there's a little late connection there in the back, and Tran's come off worse. And like you see, a little handshake there between the two of them, so good to see. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, it's one of those players, Wallace, as I mentioned pregame, that I have a quite a bit of a fascination for and I managed to, to catch up with him earlier in the week and it's awesome to see that the friend connection of, of James Cameron um, brought Wallace to the Aces when he moved to the, the top end at the start of the year. I was surprised to, to discover that one but he's done, he's been no, um, he's been no uh, less valuable to, to this Aces side than any other player yeah, despite he... him not Scoring as many goals, he's got a couple this season, but he's, the value he adds to the Aces team is, is is invaluable. It's just that control, especially we've looked at what K McDowell for the last two seasons um, in the yep. middle there looking really strong, some brilliant footwork, and then now you add add Matt Wallace to that and yep. becomes a dramatic duo Absolutely. there in the middle. So, and Absolutely. you can just see in there just commanding from his defenders where where the spare men are, you know. So it's what he does off the ball is good as well. So. Yep. He's got him prayer in that yeah, distance it. where he can, yep, he can do some damage. Newell, fake touch there, has a oh, shot. That's a great turn. Dipping ever so slightly towards the end, but not enough. Encouraging signs for Casarina. 65 minutes or so into this game, and they've having some opportunities. Plenty of time, George, for them to come back. Yep. So lovely little turn from um, Ryan there on the inside to put the ball on his left foot. and. He's just floated over the, the crossbar there. And for, unfortunate for him, or he would have found himself celebrating. Yep, absolutely. Um, plenty of time, as you mentioned, for the Rowdies to come back into this one. Wallace against Pereira. Fair challenge by both. It's Smith now merging with the ball. Still with Curtis Smith, the substitute. Newell, the other substitute. Cleverly takes the touch away from the defender and forcing the free kick. And... I will mention to the viewers, last time these two teams played, it was a 3-3 draw in dramatic fashion in that time. It was Casarina with a 3-2 a lead up until the 91st minute and where Zach Kirby broke the hearts of the Rowdies and salvaging a point. So goals in late late time can really uh, happen again in this game. Yeah, it's been, they've been the boogie team for us, to be honest, George. The um, past couple of seasons, we've had... Every time I played them, either a loss or a draw, and mm, to yep. win in the champion, uh, the grand championship final. Yeah. grand final, to win that since then, it's been some great games between the two, and there's another great strike from Jakob just yeah, going over the just, crossbar, just off target, and that was, uh, I guess, a match that you were fortunate enough to partake in last season. And uh, what, what, what was the? I've spoken to a few people around over in the Aces, in and around the the club, and and, and the committee. What kind of impact did that, that triumph last season have on, on the general Vodka club? Ah, uh, George, the, the year before we found ourselves in the same situation uh, and we unfortunately lost to Casarina. So we, we went in there thinking that it was going to be a hard, tough game. And yep. we just, last season, we just wanted it more. Yeah. Um, and with the history behind the club of not winning yeah. it for 36 years, and yes. we, we wanted to break that and we'd done it. Uh, um, yeah. And like you say, I was part of it. Um, I was there on the night. It was great to win. Um, I was a little bit emotional, and <laughs> but every time we played Casarina, um, the the feelings inside, the emotion for every game is is great. And yep. even now, just watching, mm. I want to be out there with the boys, mm. and and it's good to see them winning. But like I say, Casarina have been threatening team so far tonight, and Absolutely. they're still applying that pressure. And yep. with with minutes on the clock, even if it was five minutes, I wouldn't even rule out Casarina coming back and taking a point. So Absolutely. Uh, hopefully, they can keep their heads on Mindo and. Keep doing what they're doing, and yep. young Phil in the goals tonight, which is good to see as yeah, well. He's, he's um, done very well tonight, and he's uh, in for for Stobart, who I think has been a phenomenal player since his mid mid season move from from Darwin Hearts. He's been a good addition into that goalkeeping position. And unfortunate ball from Kirby. Yeah, Jordan come up from Darwin Hearts, um, and 
he was always one of those goalkeepers that I used to look at and admire. I've had a few collisions with him. Absolutely, uh, yeah. And I've come off worse every time. Yeah. He's a big good boy. Um, but him and him and Dylan here for Gazarina, two one of the two best goalkeepers yeah, in the league. Um, absolutely, Alongside yeah. the one that's at Hellenic. Um, yes, yep, yep. Kane McCann, so, fantastic yeah, goalkeeper. So two big guys in the goals and... Um, a lot to live up to tonight yeah. for Phil, so to have a clean sheet, if it finishes this way, it'll be good for him. Fantastic, that's for sure. An achievement for the young goalkeeper. Coming forward is De Costa Piera for Cajarina. Looks to get past Kudo. Takes a touch inboard and out. Very oh, done by run De Costa Aiden. Piera. Still on the ball here. What can he do with this opportunity? Tackled well by Kirby. And Kelly sees that out. Looks to play Kirby on. Kirby's can, still going. An opportunity, oh. and that's a, a foul Gara's on the centre-back. to make that challenge. Part a bit of a nosebleed going that far forward, the centre-back, but he has scored in the first half, so... You beat me to it, George. Yeah. He's found himself halfway up the pitch. <laughs> probably nosebleeding, wondering what he's doing up there, but like I say, he scored in the first half. And Absolutely. Zach, if he gets a chance, he'll, he'll try from anywhere. So. Yeah, he's, got, he's got great technique that, yeah, as a centre-back, and he's one of those players that has been playing Premier League for so long and still will have so many more years uh, at that top level. Um, not oh. just rock solid at the back, but knows how to score a goal, that's for sure. Yeah, he's one of the players at the club. He, he wears the, the badge underneath his his shirt on his skin and he's yep. been through Mindel since the, the junior ranks. And Beautiful. He'd probably be the same as me. He would probably die then change clubs. So it's good <laughs> to see. Um, find himself on the scoreboard tonight yep. as well. He'll be happy with that and... Absolutely. Weird, wonderful celebration that he does every time, stamping the ground, and I think that's become his trademark. So yep. hopefully we can see that week in, week out. Absolutely. Four forward by Newell. Look to get under the head of Kilmartin, but skips past to that man, Kirby, and head forward by Newell again to Jakob, and he'll look to keep this one in, but can't quiet on that occasion. And it's a big moment here. It's their player coach in Zelio Casemiro who has emerged from the technical area who look to influence play and it's it's going to be a an eyebrow raising substitute to say the least it's it's Mark Casemiro who will make way for Zelio and can only imagine that being a just a frustrating afternoon um, of Mark not being able to really attack Mindel yeah he'd probably be frustrated tonight but I'd probably think that's more of a tactical um, sub uh, especially with the game coming up or yep. during the week in the FFA Cup that's, so that's, yep. Zelio looking to come on, look to his maturity, look yep. to his experience, uh, and Not see what he can do here. But straight away, come on, come on! Oh, cut inside on his left foot and going wide. Not sure if Chindam had the the better of his man there, but nevertheless, it was slightly off target. Ah, uh, he was beaten there, Phil. Um, week in, week out, we see him shoot from there, um, and yeah, hands on his hip, wondering why that one didn't go in the in the bottom corner. Encouraging signs. Less than 20 minutes to go, though, so Casarino will need to make these opportunities count. And instead, it's Mindel getting off quickly. Mapindia goes it to Mifsud. He'll look to create some ascendancy, and he goes forward. Intercepted by Tran. We'll skip back to Newell, who will compete with Wallace, and Wallace yeah. does well to win the ball. Well Good done from Curtis there. Smith. Still with Smith. Back to Pereira. Ludvigsen instructing his teammates to go forward, and one does, Cameron. Good ball there off the back of McLennan. Takes the momentum off and pass more does well to eventually clear. Tran trying to clear but illegally wrapping himself around Cameron. Free yeah, kick to Mindel. Yeah, frustrated challenge there from Tran. Cheeky little toe peg from James before yeah. trying to find Eamon Kelly on his path. But Let's see what we can do science. here. Playing a quick. Here. Catch it. Casarina sleeping this time. Get out here. Oh, that's a dangerous ball, ball again. It's just skips past Kelly, but he'll have plenty of time here on the rebound. Cuts in, does Kelly against Pereira and does well to win a corner for his side. Yeah, like I said before, that's what Kelly offers the team, just a more pace on the wing, but he's got that lovely footwork. and yep. Especially just if he can get his head up on the edge, he scored a beautiful goal last season from the corner of the box, and mm -hmm. he, he can put him in the back of the net, that's for sure. Yep. So. Keep an eye on that one tonight yeah, and yep. see how we go for the rest of these minutes. Oh, yep. who now? Corner. corner. TV and on. It it's in. Ludwig He's said. got his head to it. He's come off his boot on and into the bottom corner. Dylan head on, hands on head. Unsure why that's beaten. All his defenders gone in the back of the net. And Tavian Ludvigsen found himself in clear.
position in the box, unmarked, unmanned, and, well, that's often one result at the end of that, and that's a goal. So that takes him outright leading goal scorer now for the Aces on six goals for the season. Ludvigsen doing very well, and Kajarina will look to quickly make a substitution. It's Braden McLennan coming from the pitch, and uh, the defensive player coming on in Yari Van Lingen. Um, not sure if that was a move that was being made regardless, but now that you're three goals down, is it more just not conceding any more, Levi? Yeah, yeah, they won't want to concede any more, but like I said from the first half, Brandon just looked a little bit unnervy tonight, and he'll, he'll be unhappy with his, um, his efforts tonight. Yep. So they see what um, Casarina can do, yep. and straight away they're off in that attack now already. So. Yep, and there's a substitute Van Lingen to Tran. He's he come to go inside. Newell with space. Has a shot. Blocked Lovely well by Kirby. There. Cameron just hoofs that forward. Passmore will take that down with no pressure. And he'll look to go early to Newell. Oh, Kazarina really that needs to be. Touch there, George. Yeah, Kazarina really needs to be on the ascendancy here. Newell tries to play it through to Kilmartin, but nothing says oh, and he'll play it through to Kelly. Yeah, Kelly. Cleverly tried to find McDowell, but Newell has got time there. He'll go to Van Lingen. Takes a touch and assesses his options. Goes back inside for Pereira. And he'll march forward. Time on the ball. Plays it wide to Kilmartin. Can he keep this in? Not on this occasion. Yeah, Gordon wanted more from him there. He had a brilliant pass, to be honest. And Kilmartin found himself on his heels there. He couldn't keep it in. It's been a, it's been a tale of that game today for Kajarina. They've been okay in the middle of the park, but then once it comes to that sort of attacking execution, they've just been slightly uh, off channel today. Yeah, I wonder if they're overthinking things, George, tonight. You know, yep. with, like I keep saying, the, the leading game up during a the week, they, yep. they probably got one eye on that game, and tonight they're just overthinking things that Casimir, would normally be yeah. pulled off by them, but it's not working tonight. Yeah, so. unfortunately, yeah. Shot there from the, the substitute, Casemiro, off target again. Sometimes that can um, Im impede you as a team, especially at this level of, of play that we have. You know, n neither of these players are at that professional level. So having that massive match and, and also travel in the back of your mind can throw you off. But Mindel have done well to, to put their chances away regardless. Yeah, look, um, we're not, we're not a, a pro, pro league up here, but we're, we're good teams. And look, I, I'd love to see Kaz, Kazarina go there and get the win uh, yep. and ad, advance on. And I think what they're doing for the NT football is uh, is a big thing. So Absolutely. to see them win in the FFA Cup would be good. But awesome, if they go yeah. into the game like tonight, um, it's going to be a long night for them. Yeah, that's, that's for sure. Right. Tacky on the go from, again. That's a lovely yeah. ball from K McDowell. Tacky finds himself one on one with Van Lincoln. He's taking a little clip there to the ankle. He stayed up though. Yeah, very Ryan well Neal, done. Uh, Dylan Neal was beaten there. Great well challenge done. from Tano. Uh, and Usa he gives on the his ball head here. up there. What can he do? Puts a ball in and straight, straight, the straight keeper. at Neal. What can Kajarina do now? Seems to be an injury to Passmore, but he continues. He's on the ball now. He goes back to Pereira. Takes yeah, a he touch. Looks like he's moving ginger there. there. That's not good signs for the centre back. They'll want to. Take to Brisbane, Newell, Pereira. He'll try and go inside, find Smith. He's got Van Lingen in, in space, and he'll take a touch. Goes forward to Casemiro. Out to, and ah, that's it's loose. a loose ball. Mendel throw, and with just over 13 minutes to go, it's looking like a comfortable position for the Aces. Mifsud throws in for Cameron, uh, being fronted by Tran, does well to win it around and ends up with Kilmartin for Kajarina. He'll go forward, all forced back, and Tran needs to take a quick touch, does so. Gordon Pereira goes inboard to pass more. He'll look to find a teammate. He's got Jakob in support, takes a touch inside and foul by her there. Tried yeah. to skip away from the defender and just kept a hand on him, unfortunately. Yeah, silly challenge there from Tano. Yakum found himself on his way and he's brought him down there just in a dangerous position here. Kilmartin 
probably looks like he's the every yep. overall choice here, but yeah, Gab looks like he, he wants it. Yep. Yeah, he's been brushed off there by Cole Martin. Yep, he's just saying, so, respect your elders, you'll want to have a hit. And he's, he's got a dangerous left foot. It's oh. as, good, as good as any as I can think of in the he's, top end in regards to a left foot strike off a free kick. There's a, there's a few experts on free kicks, and he's one of them as well. So the way he gets the ball up and down will be, be vital here. A quick ball from Kilmartin. De Costa Pereira has a touch inside. It's and a heavy it's touch. Heavy touch there from the young left back. I think Kilmartin might have been more beneficial to go for a shot there, but thought he could pull off a routine as what we saw in the first half. But One of those in training, George. He'll, yeah. he'll work. Every time you do it, but for tonight, unfortunately, just unfortunately it's just yeah. they haven't they haven't been on it tonight. And yeah. Good ball from Kirby finds lovely touch there for Kelly. Raymond. A little loose pass yeah. there, though. He'll recover that, and fortunately go out for a Quick throw. Point. Kilmartin looks in board for Jakob. He can That's skip away from his team here and can't quite do so. And read it well there and just let it roll out for a goal kick. Very well and. Very well does Mapindia to see that out for a goal kick. Here's and Mindo looking at making a sub. Young Josh coming on. Yep. Interesting to see who's going to come off here, though. That's right. In the meantime, play will continue. Chindam goes forward. Look to find Wallace and takes a brilliant touchdown. He'll go back and he'll go and find still with Wallace. He wants to keep the ball here and does so brilliantly. Ludvigsen oh, that's a goes with the ball. Sends him on his way. He wants it back. Unfortunately, he won't find it's its way to heavy. Wallace, but very, very well done, as I mentioned. But now it's Jakub. Kajarina look to get forward. Mifsud stands there and says, not today. And he'll go forward. Tran. Smith takes the header down. Still with the ball. Curtis Smith dispossessed yeah, by Mifsud. Lovely win. Out. Oh, had to get a touch there. And it's a throw in for Mindel which will see them make a substitution here and that's Kane McDowell coming that's off. It. Number 10 Kane McDowell coming from the pitch earning a well earned break and to the well recipient by the fans absolutely. There. It's good to see George absolutely fantastic performance from McDowell has been everywhere tonight and will earn just over 10 minutes or so for, for Moso to Im impact this match and can he do the young He's midfielder He's a good young player, Josh. Uh, Straight away offering for the ball, wins the throw. One of those players that just sometimes just does a little bit too much on the ball. And like I said with, before with Matt Wallace, where if you release it early, it could be on some frightening attacks. Yep. But just holding that ball that little bit too much and That's just okay. the yeah, you, pressure. Often you see it in the top end with these young players. They, oh, here well we are, though, Cameron. Well. Opportunity. It's, oh, great yeah. save by Dylan. A strong, strong right hand. Fantastic work, Cameron. Almost as quick as his counterpart for Casarino in, in Mark Casemiro. He took that turn and on, on, on his bike by himself, one on one with the goalkeeper. Often than not, you back him to score. Ah, oh, yeah, he just beautiful little turn. Finds the defender on his heels and took a lovely shot to the the, the close upright and. Yep. Dylan's got a strong right hand to That's it. That's right. Quick corner here. Mapindia looks to put a cross in. Does so. Cleared out from by Newell. And lively tonight, That's George. Right. Tana U and it's Kirby. Looks to put a ball in. Does so, but oh it's dear. cleared by Tran. Now there Kilmartin. What can Casarina do here? Casemiro. Two takes one a touch in. Oh, it's a lovely ball over. Kilmartin still with it. Kudo puts it out. Kirby will further see that into safety for the Aces, and he'll just bang that out and and his team an opportunity to regroup and reshape and classic pair if and now get out moment right. there yep easy as you like Taki was looking for the offside there but yeah. he didn't look over his right shoulder at, um, yeah ah. I think it was his captain Kelvin keeping yeah. him offside there big time so well but done yeah, good to see Zach getting rid of it yep Kajarina now to Costa Pereira to Gordon Pereira. He'll go back to Hayden to Costa Pereira. Still skipping in board as the left back. He does well to find some space here. Tried to cut it back for Jakob and 
Mapendia was there, but now Kilmartin to the visible back post. Casemiro. Oh, back into a dangerous position. And cleared from Kudo momentarily. Kelly tried to clear that out, and instead it's off the Casarina player for a goal kick. Yeah, Shining man. attack from Casarina. Kelly kicking it straight into Kilmartin there, and it's bouncing off him and going out for a goal kick. Good Chin. for Phil. Still clean sheet so far. So. Yep. Very done. Well yeah. done for the goalkeeper. Still un penetrated is his goals and it's a pl goal yeah they'll get yeah. this one free kick for Mindelasis and a, a throw in it's a handball there by Tran and Mifsud will slowly take that one just sort of asking where it is but told just before halfway stealing a couple meters there George yeah he's <laughs> done well he's one of those players Mifsud and plays it forward looks for Ludvigsen from position was Van Lingen and did well to head that back to his goalkeeper. Newell kicks that forward oh, long and hard. Long kick. Casemiro can take this in his stride. His way here, first connection. Oh, nice. and Go that's on. a looks to be a play on from the referee there. He's looked he, at his he, assistant, he uh, thought, George. He, he thought about it, that's for sure. But the assistant referee not giving him any any assistance on that occasion and play on. Smith. Still with the ball. Newell, heavy touch. Skips out for Mifsud, who's got time and can assess options here. Looks to go long. Tran intercepts Curtis Smith. Time as well he does. Gordon Pereira. He'll go back wide to Newell. And Newell still with it. Skips past Mifsud, goes back inside. Oh, lovely. Takes it past the captain, but Wallace is there to clear. I'm going to go back to that moment there, George. I'm going to be unbiased and actually say I would probably have given a penalty there. Um, yep. Just Zach find himself on the wrong side of him there and yep. kill it coming out together. Yeah, fortunate. They're lucky there. The middle defender. But now it's Tan U to skip away for the aces. Looks for a run. Not coming. Instead, he'll just hit that off a Casarina player and allow an opportunity for Ludvigsen to chase down. Oh, it's gone. Newell. That's a risky one. It's very loose. risky and does very well to keep that out from his own net. Pass more passing it back yeah, to his keeper. Very and just dangerous. Catching. Very dangerous that was. I wonder if the sun got in his eyes there, George, <laughs> and just didn't realize how yep. close his keeper was to him. Yep. Lucky Curtis there. Smith now going inside. No movement for his teammates. Jacobs, though, there on halfway. He tries to get past. Kelly does so. Still with Jacob. Does well and... It wasn't caught quite there, and then Newell is off his line to prevent that from being danger as Ludvigsen was through, and looks like Cameron's gone to ground. Play will continue for the time being. Pereira tried to loop one over for Casemiro. Famoso gets a touch, and he'll try to get past Pasmore. Still with Pasmore. Looks to be in some discomfort, does Cameron. Yeah. Huh. Hard challenge there from Kirby on Newell. And... He hasn't moved too much, Cameron. He's been done well not to get straight back to his feet, but he's trying to. Doesn't look oh. too comfortable, this Cameron. It's a little bit of cramp there. Yeah. And that'll end his night early. He's done very well tonight to be a threat up front. He'll earn himself an early rest. And this might possibly be a defensive substitution, Levi. Nah, Neil, Neil plays in the centre, so yep. um, like for like position swap there, I think. Okay. They'll yep. probably push Tavia a bit more up there, as you see James was floating in there. But Neil would probably just sit out here on the on the yep. left um, with Matt and Josh in the middle. So mm -hmm. just like for like again, and like there I said, go. Neil's second game now of this season and for the Prems, and he does such a good job, to be honest. So. Fantastic work. It's a you shame wanna... he's only got four minutes to show it. But... Yeah, he'll look to make these four minutes count, that's for sure. Good touch early. Good, he had a good strong pass side as well. Last, last Famoso night. not quite taking that one under his belt, but that goes out to, to Costa Pereira now for Casarina. Final few minutes to make inroads to this scoreline. Kirby very well done to clear that. Wallace... Yeah, he's done well tonight, Zach Kirby. Just dealt with everything so far. Yep. And then his goal, so he'll be on cloud nine tonight. Yep, that's for sure. Pereira, time on the ball, plays to Kilmartin, looked for the on-run of Jakob, but 
Wallace was clever to clear that out. Kudo, only with Pereira for Casarina. Casemiro, Curtis Smith for Casarina. Back to Gordon Pereira. Looks wide for a teammate in trans there. But Mifsi clears that confidently and puts it out for a throw for Casarina. And yeah, well dealt with uh, by the captain. He'll be happy tonight with the performance of his team. Yep. Um, like I say, still time on it, so not... No, no chance of Kasarina not going to go, so they've just got to keep switched on yep. and see this game out. That's for sure. Well done from the goalkeeper. Stupid and decision Chindem. there from Ryan, but... Chindam will force the referee to come and have a, have a word. Um, in these latter stages, we'll just give a quick chat-out to our final two sponsors that have come on board in season 2021. That's HPA, helping people achieve. They go above and beyond to support local territorians and change lives, and then also... A massive thank you to Peter and his team at Darwin Olympic Sporting Club for coming on board as a sponsor in season 2021. Yeah, Chindam just sort of, I guess, backing himself into that challenge and just possibly soaking off a couple cheeky seconds off the clock, but he yeah. seems okay. I think Zach and uh, Ryan had a little exchange before when the sub was going on, so... Yep, a bit um, of return favour there. Ryan's obviously got a bit frustrated and Phil's been on the end of it, unfortunately. Yep, so yep. It's good to see him get up. Uh, yeah. It's important for the Aces that he stays fit, Chindam. And good ball out to, to Costa Pereira. Takes that in his stride. Kudo will do his best to keep him off. It does very well oh. to back heel it for Tan O there. And he'll look to play to Ludvigsen, who's That's got back into an onside ball. position. Van Lingen needs to be clever. He was. Newell back to Van Lingen. Passmore urging his team to get forward. And, and it gets through to Pereira. Time on the ball to pick out a pass and looks to get to Casemiro, who left by Kilmartin. Time to turn. Kirby's shaping him up. Very well done from the Mindle defender to force him out wide. Kilmartin eventually yeah, well won by won Kelly. By Kelly. Yep. And he'll find Kudo. Saki again. Well He's done. He's everywhere tonight, George, isn't he? Yeah, clever touching board to force Pereira to ground. But now it's got the ball to Pereira. Kirby heads that up in the air. Wallace will help him out and head that back to Chindam. And it's done. No. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky from Chindam, who unfortunately can't keep his clean sheet intact. A late goal to Jakob. We'll see Kajarina peg one. So to George, when there's minutes on the clock, not to rule them out, and they've, they've got, got it. But yep. it's obviously lucky for Mindo. It's not enough to get him back into the game. But That's right. Unfortunate for Phil there. Very He's gone unfortunate. through his legs and then into the path of Jakob to steal that one. So. He's been rock solid today as Chindam, and he'll be disappointed personally with that one. His teammates won't mind too much, but I know goalkeepers hate conceding goals oh, like that. Yeah, George, look, when you're in that sticks with the gloves, you've got a big big um, pressure on your shoulders to, to do your job for the team, and he's been reliable tonight, so he'll be devastated with that one. Yep. yep. Latter stages now of this match, and... Minder will definitely see this one out for three points. And Mifsud plays a short ball. Mapendia. He'll go inside and look to go to substitute. Oh, it's a lovely one. Well too. done. And oh, he's had an effort there. You're licensed to get forward as a central defender when you're leading 3-1 in the latter stages of a game. Why not, George? You Why might. not? That's you know, right. You free one up. Yeah. It's 90 minutes. Just rolling out the time and... Have Get that shot. man up there and have a go. But Why not? That's right. Unfortunately, this time. Newell now forward. Not long now for Kajarina. Wallace. For time. He's had a look the for ball. a goal there, George. Yeah. I thought he was going to have a, have a <laughs> go. Yeah, he assessed that one quickly. Wallace being very strong just to keep that ball. Skips around Newell skillfully. Again past De Costa Pereira, the central midfielder. Doesn't know when to stop, and he'll take that to the corner and a corner win here. one for his team. Well done from Matthew Wallace, who, if he had a goal to his name, might be on board for a man of the match performance. And I think his number nine will argue strongly with him as to who should earn that. Yeah, accolade. if I was Wallace, I'd be I'd be screaming at the Dan. I want that one <laughs> and be taking that award. Just Absolutely. how he's kept the ball with at his feet, so close to the touchline. Very touch line. strong. He was Wallace, and also very strong were Mindelaces today. They scored two goals in the first half and then piled on a third before a late goal from Jakob earned the Rowdies a goal back, but that did little to 
affect the end result of this match. It's a 3-1 victory for Mindalasis, and that result will really assist them in, in clawing that one down. They'll leapfrog Darwin Olympic into, into fifth spot. And the Reds are in action later tonight against Hellenic in the Greek Derby. But I was, it was a result that was required from the start of the match by McCormick and his team. They've achieved it. And now they'll look to possibly push on next week against Port Darwin. Yeah, I said, I said at the start, George, that it was a must win. And they've done it. So they'll see themselves up there on the ladder. And like I say, next week, uh, vital games coming up. And they'll want to keep, the, keep this motion going and yep. keep trying to win. And yep, absolutely. Find that ladder. For sure. Unlucky tonight for Casarina. They do have an FFA Cup uh, meeting with Lions FC in Queensland to attend to. We're disappointed with today's result. And unfortunately, this afternoon, it's gone 3-1 to favour of Mindalasis. We hope to see you later on tonight for the 8 o'clock game. That is, again, Darwin Olympic Sporting Club against Hellenic Athletic Club. But in the meantime, have a great afternoon.